Sola fide is a Latin phrase that means by faith alone, and it comes out of the 16th century Reformation and was a part of a series of other Latin slogans that the 16th century reformers coined. For example, sola gratia, by grace alone, or solus Christus, by Christ alone. And the overall intention there was to say that we are saved by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. And the whole reason behind these slogans was ultimately because during the 16th century, the church at the time was teaching that salvation was by the grace of God, but also by our contribution of good works. And so the reformers uh, went into the scriptures and they exegeted the scriptures in the original languages. Because at that time, the Roman Catholic Church did not allow the translation of the scriptures, but it was completely really done from the Latin Bible. And so as the reformers exegeted the scriptures, men like Martin Luther, uh, Heinrich Bullinger, Oleg Zwingli, John Calvin, and many others uh, came to the exegetical conclusion that justification, our right standing before God, and indeed our salvation is ultimately by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. In other words, that it's exclusively by trusting in the person and work of Christ and in his completed work, not in our own works of any kind, that we are saved, that we have that right standing before God. This, I believe, is of the utmost and greatest importance for the Christian life because not only does it tell us that uh, we have our right standing before God by uh, Christ's work alone, but with Paul, uh, we can say, for we hold, Romans 3.28, that one is justified by faith apart from works of the law. In other words, what this means is that when we have timidity about going before the throne of God, we can say and know that, no, Christ has secured my salvation, and I lay hold of that by faith alone, by trusting exclusively in his work alone for my salvation. That imparts to me, and I pray every other believer in Christ, uh, the greatest confidence, the greatest hope, because this is the balm of the gospel.